Okay, it's starting to get crispy at night. First time I wore this jacket. It's uh, the long weekend. This is Friday night. And 22 days before the next provincial election. Very quiet, but I think people are going to wake up. And I just made a video in French first. I never did that before. And in English, this time in English. But the issue really concerns the French population in New Brunswick, the Acadians and les Brayons de, de la République de Madawaska. The leader of the Liberal Party, Brian Galland, must really think we Frenchmen are nuts or not too bright. Well, we're going to find out if we Acadians are not too bright or not and les Brayons in a few weeks. Number one, Radio Canada. I always said Radio Canada have a debate. Uh, tell the oh, the French is not good enough. Uh, the, 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 when remember when they denied David Kuhn, the leader of the Green Party, the right to debate four years ago. I never forgive them. This time around, uh, Brian Galland said, "Oh, I'll debate, but I'll debate Blaine Higgs." Blaine Higgs was ready to send somebody to replace him that could debate with Brian Galland issues that will concern the French population. Brian Galland said, no, I don't want that. I want Blaine Hayes. Because, you know, he could have made a fool out of Blaine Hayes. So, really, the conservatives and Blaine Hayes were smart. They said, no, we're not going. We're not going. There. So, right off the bat, the, the, the leader of the Liberals, Brian, Brian Galland, just proved that the Liberals are a bunch of chicken shit with the Francophone. They don't want to debate issues. So, that was bad enough. Then last night, and thank God for the CBC, if it wasn't for the CBC, we wouldn't know this. They had, they had one debate in Shidiak. One debate. And the liberal candidate, what's his name? Jacques Leblanc, is it? Former mayor of Shidiak, refused to debate, refused to go and debate issues in Shidiak. All the rest of the parties were there, but not Shidiak. They refused. Now, Shidiak, my God, there's a few issues to talk about. Number one that comes to my mind is Parley Beach, million dollar tourism industry. Uh, number two, the Trailer Park Boys. Well, that's another issue, Victor Boudreau. And I hear an issue a few weeks ago, Le Villa, the, the old folks home, the government wants to privatize it. And the workers in that complex are afraid to lose their job. So there's are the issue and what happened, the Liberals never, never showed up for the debate. So, what's going to happen here? Are the, do, you, do the Liberals really think that they could elect a person, a Liberal, to represent them, to represent the writing in the house behind me without talking, without debating important issues that concerns Francophone? I mean, this is crazy. So, I mean, I don't get it. So, do they think that um, Brian Galland is going to be like Donald Trump in uh, Puerto Rico? He was throwing paper towels like a basketball. What Brian Galland did during the storm, he was throwing water. So, how come the Liberal Party are refusing to debate issues with the Acadian and the Brian, the Brian and the Acadian? the Francophone commu community in New Brunswick. What are they afraid of? Do they think we Frenchmen are a bunch of stupid bastards that we won't notice this? Time will tell. Two or three weeks.